in this video, I'll be talking about natural analogs to two of the most powerful anti-aging compounds, metformin and rapamycin. First, a reminder that, of course, this video is not intended as and should not be taken as medical advice. This channel is sponsored by Do Not Age for a 10% discount on all of the products on their website. Use the links below and type in the code PATHWAYS. I've been interested in anti-aging for several years. Like many people, I've taken berberine and metformin, and I've thought about trying rapamycin, which I tend to think of as metformin on steroids, but I've held back so far because I'd rather do it under a doctor's guidance. In the meantime, I got curious about whether there are other natural analogs for metformin besides berberine, and what analogs there might be for rapamycin. I found an interesting article entitled Toward Natural Mimetics of Metformin and Rapamycin, which was published in 2017. The article begins by pointing out that both metformin and rapamycin are themselves analogs for caloric restriction. The author states, caloric restriction is a well-known intervention for extending lifespan across species, but has limited practical value in humans. Hallmarks of caloric restriction include reduced levels of circulating glucose and insulin, as well as beneficial responses to these reductions in nutrient and energy sensing networks such as activation of AMP-activated protein kinase, AMPK, and inhibition of mammalian target of rapamycin, mTOR. The author adds that both rapamycin and metformin are both mTOR inhibitors and exhibit multiple anti-aging, anti-cancer, and anti-cardiovascular disease benefits. The authors used several criteria for finding and identifying analogs, looking for compounds that could mimic metformin and rapamycin, and worked along similar pathways, looking in particular at their anti-aging and disease-preventing effects, but without some of their possible negative side effects. One well-known analog for metformin is berberine. However, it actually wasn't mentioned in the article. The compound exhibiting the highest similarity to metformin using the author's criteria was elantuin, which is derived from yams and used in several skincare products. I found dozens of moisturizing products that contain elantuin, and one lab selling it for research purposes in an online search, but it doesn't seem to be readily available as a supplement. Another analog to metformin that the study came up with was glucosamine, which is commonly used in the treatment of osteoarthritis and, like metformin, inhibits mTOR and has known anti-tumor effects. Unlike elantuin, glucosamine is readily available as a nutritional supplement. It's been in the news lately because some of the studies confirmed its effectiveness in lowering blood glucose. Two other compounds that were mentioned in the study as analogs for metformin were ginseng and GLA, which also demonstrated anti-aging, anti-cancer, and other anti-disease effects. Ginseng was identified as the most similar to metformin on a pathway level. For rapamycin, the compound that came closest on a genetic level was EGCG, which is found in green tea and has been found to be effective against cancer, cardiovascular disease, and in helping to prevent skin aging caused by UV light exposure. I would add that based on other studies that I've read, it appears to be safer to drink green tea than to take EGCG as a supplement. The authors found one compound that was of particular interest. According to the article, one of the most significant findings was withifirin A, 
one of only two compounds topping the list for similarity to both metformin and rapamycin. Withafurin A was the top scoring compound for gene level similarity to metformin using the conventional statistical approach and also displayed significant pathway and gene level similarity to rapamycin using both the pathway activation approach and the deep learning approach which was engaged by the algorithms used in the study. Mice with diet-induced obesity have seen 20 to 25 percent reductions in body weight as a result of withafurin A treatment, as well as a decrease in obesity-associated pathology. Withafurin A also has beneficial effects on glucose metabolism. Withafurin A is a natural product derived from a medicinal plant called withania, which is also known as ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is available as a supplement. It's been used in traditional Chinese medicine for anti-aging purposes for centuries. It's been one of my favorite anti-aging supplements for the last several years. It's one of the few supplements that I take personally that I feel an immediate, intense, physically and mentally energizing effect when I take. So if you're looking for compounds that are similar in many respects to the effects of rapamycin and metformin and appear to work along similar pathways, yet may possibly be safer, there are several readily available ones to choose from. This channel is sponsored by Do Not Age for a 10% discount on all of the products on their website. Use the links below and type in the code PATHWAYS.